Hello, this video is about the construction of a collective uh, short attention span mindset. And this is very common if you have ever been in a, in a situation where a question is asked and um, I'm not talking about in a pub or something where there's lots of sounds and you know you you just rather make a joke out of something rather than answer seriously but you know in in um, in different situations and uh, you lose the person or they lose you so they asked you something and you try to explain or tell your point of view but you see in their eyes they lost you and uh, you might even get some smirky remark about you know oh you you have been thinking about this or why do you go so deep into it like Mm, come on um, Bill Hicks did a, a thing on this way back it was in regards of the Kennedy murder you know like who cares about the Kennedy stop thinking about it of course that that's still relevant but not relevant in our lives today but that sort of uh, ID and um, how is this like born about well you know we always have a uh, um segregation of our population sort of you have you, to put it simply like in in hinduism you have the brahmans the the military the merchants and the peasants and you had something similar in sweden in europe well there's always like a, you know like carbs you need a lot of carbs it's the main fuel for the body but you need like that special vitamin in your body so everything is in nature is divided into sort of functions and every person has a function you see and um uh i'm personally against like determinant the deterministic functions you know if you're born to some family that you have to be in that category i i'm of the opinion that everyone can uh, become who they uh, can be but at the same time i cannot deny that um like in in the socialistic um, system of Sweden, like everybody's supposed to be educated and put in the same mold, and uh, there are many countries like this, and you know that doesn't work. You know, some people have um, it can be anything. It could be like I'm a night person. I I I I, I like to work when the, after sunset. Some people uh, learn better this way. Some people are more pragmatic. Some are more theoretical. And um, how is this sort of short attention span brought about? Well, it starts at home, of course. Where else? And um, I remember listening to uh, an Alan Watts recording and he said, you know, um, you teach the child sort of, you know, if, if, um, if a child can only get a response from the adults or its near environment by doing something, it will most likely do that thing. So, for example, if you have, uh, you know, if if a child, for example, comes uh, comes with a book, and there are grown ups and says like, "This is this is the history of northern France in the 16th century," I like this, and people that also, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Like, uh, why don't you dance and sing for us? And the child maybe do some dancing and singing and get like applause and all this sort of. Uh, train the false smiles that eventually indoctrinate this child into becoming an, uh, an, an entertainment object now um, and and this is how it goes on like uh, you can see that uh, when you become a parent if you have um, when you you know have you uh, shift from you know you see families here you see how kids behave and all that you see this very obviously uh, like before, I used to see, uh, uh, just have a, a concept of it, like after that Alan Watts lecture, uh, intellectually, but now I see it, you can see how simplistic, uh, like shallow laughing, uh, um, like complaining uh, adult um, praise of children is really... A common thing and even um, I remember from that same lecture Alan talks about how you know why should you speak to your child like it was some um, uh, 
kreten, you know, uh, speak to it as it was your best friend, your wife or something. You don't have to change your pitch, you know, of your voice and stuff like that. And um, and this is where all this sort of indoctrination starts. Now, of course, some people are just destined to become what they are and they they pull off anyway. Some people um, also just get locked within that system because everyone wants to be acknowledged and praised and especially women have a more tendency to be sort of like regarded as friendly as um, uh, <laughs> I was about to say hostile but I mean uh, hos hospitable yeah yeah hospitable like a hospital you know taking care of everything men have a more um, acceptance of uh, of um, um, di um, diversing behavior which also makes men more um, self-assured in a some kind of a natural uh, DNA programmed way to be more who they are to be. Um, this th theory doesn't suit with those uh, social construct people, but it's the way it is, and it doesn't have to be masculine or feminine. You know, just you know, a woman can have those traits too, as men have. But it's mostly seen this or that case, and there are many studies. Um, uh, there was an interesting Norwegian program years ago. 2010 or 9 where they sort of went through seven episodes of uh, questions about gender uh, education race and all that and you know the answers they uh, came about um, uh, that they sort of uh, not, not didn't want to promote but they you know they put like the Norwegian socialist um, Marxist um, um, filter and they went over to the United States and talked to some people and, you know, there was a difference. Um, yeah, that was a bit digressing, but anyway, so this is something you can observe and it is really fascinating because you really have to um, survive this sort of uh, short attention span when it comes to a lot of things. You have to uh, be, it forces you to sort of be able to get the interest of a person who has a short attention span uh, and also what what I've noticed that a lot of people who have this sort of short attention span uh, often have a, a bad memory so for example if you say you know uh, we talked about an apple pie it will become like apples in in dust or something afterwards um, and this is really like um, nothing but at the same time, if you if you consider how many people, how how, how many of us they are, there are, and how much information is being transferred between us, and uh, you know, I think it takes up lots of lots of unnecessary energy. So this video is of course not about speaking about, you know, uh, there's a matrix out there. I'm not in the matrix. Maybe you are not in the matrix. We have to get out of the matrix. You know, we are not like them. This is about um, a positive ex aspect, of course, and that is to not waste your energy on, on short attention span people um, and how to do that. Um, basically, um, the most important thing to realize is that sometimes the whole idea you want to um, explain there's no idea in doing that sometimes you just maybe say something or just let it go or just point to a direction and mention something and leave it you know leave it like you know okay let those five people have a sense that they are right and you are wrong like they have this sort of indoctrinated point of views about something just mention three four things point to something like a link uh, uh, somewhere where they can just like get more information and believe me that works better than to sit there and just have this um, mental leaves falling off your head and there's heads it's just a waste of time uh, why because you won't get anywhere you have you will waste time and you can do something better instead but this works better because Often the case is when something is true, when something is like 
probably right in a sense, not that everything is 100%. It often doesn't require so much passion to be explained. It doesn't require um, a lecture of 40 minutes at the, at the you know, table with five people who are um, asking you about something and you know, um, trying to uh, pick on you or something. Um, uh, so just letting go and this is also something that you have to be um, aware of yourself so if you have something that comes up something that's relevant to our time uh, just you know give it 15 minutes come up with some sort of um, catchphrase or not catchphrases but um, um, a shortened down version and have something to link to people um, I've seen people um, change like that. Uh, for example, when it comes to eating animals, when it comes to some political ideas, um, you know, like people going from calling you uh, uh, a racist uh, or or uh, whatever to realizing that there that there was no such thing at all. Or for example, in in animal um, in animal like eating flesh and stuff. Like from calling you a, a weakling, a, a protein deficient person, someone who will have, a, you know, this and that disease and all that to realizing that, hey, you know, you're still in shape, you're still good. And, you know, I've been picking up that information and it has changed me. So that was just some examples, like very common, you know, politics, food, whatever. Um but anyway, the more time you, 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 you save for yourself, not wasting on explaining and just like letting those people find out it, find it out by themselves, the better you'll be off, the more time you will have to actually become a, a better, more efficient, more professional, more, more sharp in whatever you're doing by yourself, with your family, with your business, yeah, because yeah, there's this phrase of uh, along the path, you will always have dogs barking at you. So if you stop at every dog and bark back and yell and like trying to uh, <clears throat> hush them away or something, you, you'll never get to your place. So just um, have, have some, have some um, summaries, throw it out, give people a link. Don't waste your time and always accept, like accept the, 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 the sensation it might be hard like let people think they are right let them think you are the bad guy um, if there's nothing you can do and they have already decided their minds but if they can hear a short summary some some comments a link where they can go to believe me some will check it out so um, and but to go back to this attention span thing you know there's nothing one can do about it people are indoctrinated into certain behaviors and i'm not saying that's bad i mean it's good to be able to have a normalized behavior between people and greet each other in a certain way and you know just have things going on smooth but um, um it all goes very deep i mean when you become a parent you realize those things um how um, how unintentionally and without better knowledge really what can you do? People um, give, uh, you know, praise for uh, simplistic, short attention, Spanish uh, behavior among their children. So that was that. Um, I think the dinner is ready that I'm uh, having in the oven. So take care and all the best.